Every sport carries its difficulties, but there's one sport that has more to it than what meets the eye. Gymnastics is much more than a sport. It's a commitment, a commitment where perfection is the goal. This is a sport where both grace and power come together. As I was a gymnast when I was much younger, kind of moved into cheerleading, but um, and I think both sports get kind of, you know, brushed under the rug um, because it's um, really cool to do the flippy things, but flippy things don't get you far for gymnastics. Um, it is strength is 90% of it. You have to be able to be strong. You have to be able to um, be able to lift your body at forces that are not normal forces like landing on mats and uh, landing on your ankles and your joints and everything else so um, conditioning strength um, and mental endurance gymnastics takes a lot of commitment because you have to like give up some things in order to do better in the gym you have to give up like going with your friends and then you have to come here give up a weekend to go to a lake and then you have to commit to your skills on every event because if you don't then you might get hurt fear is a big part of the sport it's something gymnasts battle with constantly but it's those who choose to overcome it or ignore it who are able to find the most success. Although it is easier said than done, that's why the coaches are there to push their athletes into situations that are not dangerous, but make the athletes come out of their comfort zone. Everything in gymnastics has a fear. So no matter what you do, you're always going to have something in your head saying that you can't do it or you can't do it right. So uh, the fear in your head to every like skill, you just sometimes just have to go for it. We, we don't want to baby them because we don't want them to fear, but we completely understand that the mental stress of doing it is way bigger than the actual physical act of doing any skill. And you're right, they have to transition from bars, then to beam, then to floor, and some are more graceful, some are more powerful, and it's being able to just quickly change their mindset and keep moving, especially at competition. One event may not go well, but that might be the first event. They have three more events to complete before uh, they finish their meet. Days are long for gymnasts. During the school year, gymnasts go to a full day of school and when most students are doing their homework, these athletes head straight to the gym for a four-hour practice, all while having to fit time for homework, family, friends, and their physical and mental health. You know, I try to remind them, we're all tired, right? And sometimes it's mind over matter. You know, once they get started, it's like anything else, an exercise program or anything. Once you get started, you're like, why didn't I do that sooner? Why am I not pushing myself? But it's that act of actually getting started or a full school day during the school year and then having to come in here, whether they did their homework before, or, you know, did they eat enough? Did they drink enough to fuel their bodies to make it through? Um, but once they get going, the excitement of learning new skills and challenging themselves is fun. You just have to think about all the good things and that's like if I wanted to go farther, it would just be like, as long as I'm happy doing what I'm doing, that would be the best thing. Although days are long, both gymnasts and coaches love being around the gym and the family feel, as most of them are in the gym more than being around their family and friends. We want them to challenge themselves, but at the same time, it's just about enjoying their sport and whatever they take away from that, whether it is, you know, moving on to college or whatever later in life, uh, that they build a certain type of self-confidence uh, and awareness um, to be able to take that and put and apply it into their lives as adults. Yeah, it's like a second home. You have all your friends and your coaches that you've been with for a long time. So it's just fun to come to gymnastics every day, like after school. You, after being stressed out at school, you get to come here and just have fun with your friends, your teammates. And that's the best thing is you get to build like friendships with all the people you're surrounded with, even like people that work at the front. Like <laughs> you are friends with everybody now. Jim Magic trains girls as young as five all the way through high school for competition. And who knows, maybe one day we'll see one of these girls competing in the Olympics.